my car is right there and I just might want to move it to maybe there or maybe there. What's up, y'all? Chuck Driver here. Thanks for tuning in for my Quest for 30 on uh, this weekend Warrior Edition. It's Saturday morning, a little bit before 6 a.m. I'm pulling into a Wawa right now to gas up, get some coffee. Um, this weekend, in for my Quest for 30, um, it's 30 rides for $125. But damn, what's pretty cool with this Quest is um, I have an additional bonus. On top of the Quest, if I do uh, 10 rides, I get $100. So my first 10 rides, I get $100. And then if I do 30 rides total, I get an additional $125 for that Quest. So it's a little bit different how uh, Uber has it set up. It's a little bit confusing because it's not 30 rides plus 10 rides. So 40 rides to get the money. It's just straight 30 rides to get the money. So um, pull up a little bit here. So I'm um, gas up, get some coffee, and hit the road, and let's get this weekend popping. So I just got done getting my coffee and gassing up at Wawa, and wouldn't you know it, I got a ping like five seconds into getting on. And I'm going to a different Wawa, eight minutes away to pick someone up. Probably uh, probably a uh, Wawa employee that just got off at their 6, uh, 6 a.m. shift. Happens almost every Saturday I do Wawa. Those employees love Uber. A few minutes later. I must not be awake yet because I totally got that wrong. It was a uh, Uber Eats pickup. And uh, guy ordered hot meatballs at 6 a.m. in the morning. God bless that person. So far, I got nine trips for about $75. A lot of them are Uber Eats. About half of them are Uber Eats so far. And uh, I am one trip away from getting my first $100 bonus of the weekend. So four and a half hours in, I'm at $190. That's with a $100 bonus for uh, doing 10 rides. And I'm just rolling one after another, which is awesome. So hopefully the day keeps up like this because I thought I would do at least 24, 25-ish rides today and then have to wake up on Sunday morning. So 11 rides in about four and a half hours really is gonna put me at uh, almost 30 rides for the day would be the most ever. So I could get this whole quest done in one day. So hopefully I knock the rest out today. Taking a quick break, get some food, and get back on the road. Woo! Drop off. Two forty-five on Saturday afternoon. Still crushing it out here. I got eighteen rides in seven and a half hours. I can get really close to that thirty rides and just get the thirty ride quest done with today. Um, we got four and a half hours left to do it. I average around like two point two five rides an hour, so that put me like between ten and eleven rides. So like right at thirty. Uh, so hopefully I keep busy. I can get thirty rides out of the way, and that way I can just chill all Sunday. I'm on my way to 27th ride. I'm uh, in Newark, Delaware, U of D. It's a uh, college game going on down here, so it's pretty busy. So just one ride, one small ride after another. If you can find small college towns like this where there's some students, you get one ride after the other because these, these students, you know, they don't want to walk a half a mile. So I just dropped off Uber Eats for ride number 29. Uh, going to pick up another Uber Eats order for ride number 30, so I'll be done. Uh, probably end up doing one or two extra just because I finished I'll be finishing um, Well before I thought I ever would a few moments later looks like this will be my last run Because there was uh, two uber eats deliveries. I didn't even notice that so uh, This will definitely take a little bit more time than I thought so but hey it counts as two rides anyway 
Uh, so got that extra one in. And bonus, it looks like the last delivery will be about 10 minutes from my house. Can't beat that. Straight on Cashel Mill Road. It's 712. Just finished my last Uber Eats delivery, my last ride of the day. So I finished that 31 rides slash deliveries and uh, crushed that quest for 30 this weekend. So last weekend with Lyft, I did 25 rides for $660. However, it took me two days to do it, and I believe roughly around 17 hours. So this week, uh, with 13 hours, um, I'm at $495. However, I still have some tips to come in. So I could finish, um, I'm projected to finish around 520 bucks. So that's, that's actually a little bit more per hour than, uh, than with Lyft last weekend. Thanks again for tuning in to uh, Weekend Warrior with Chuck. See you next time.